So I finally listened to the uh, SB speech in its entirety uh, in like five minutes or whatever. But, um, you know, I thought I was going to feel one way about it, listening to everybody talk. Uh, but I um, actually really didn't have too much a problem with everything he said. Um, you know, his wife introduced him as the goat. I thought it was funny as his kid, when she said to go, this kid was looking like, who's coming up here? But uh, it was his daddy. Um, you know, I, I think he is in that goat talk, whether you think he's a goat or not. Uh, you know, he's in that goat talk. So, you know, I actually felt different about this until I just thought about it. I was under the impression that nobody that is really great at something talks about how great they are, but that's not true. The real GOAT, Muhammad Ali, did that all the time, and, you know, he was serious about it, so I guess nothing's wrong with self-promotion on his face. Um, yeah, you know, the the part about him saying, luckily for y'all, you know, he's speaking for his fans. He, he said his fans is the most important thing, and his fans, you know, I'm sure they'd be bummed out if he stopped playing. So he said, luckily for y'all, that's not today. I, I have no problem with that. Yeah, so I think it was a good speech. And like I said, I'm not a LeBron fan, but I, I can say he's he's one of the uh, top, definitely top 15 players. <laughs>